What are the five most common jobs in the mechanical aptitude for the Air Force? Well, in today's video, I'm going to dive into just that. I determined this list based off of the total manning in these career fields. So if you disagree and think there should be something else on this list, be sure to comment it down below. Or if you were surprised by anything, let me know in the comment section. But if you're new here, my name is Kyle Gott. I'm a six year Air Force veteran who did aircraft structural maintenance, and I'm also the founder of Airman Vision. Here at Airman Vision, we've created a streamlined solution for modern day Air Force recruiting, where we're bridging the gap between future recruits in the Air Force. So if you're not yet subscribed, consider joining us and also liking this video to help others find it. If you're interested in joining the Air Force or currently in the process, we've actually created a job odds calculator. You can go to airmanvision.com and you can enter in your current job list that you want to submit to your recruiter and it'll show you roughly the odds of getting the jobs that are on your list. So if you're interested in using that calculator that we provide to you all for free, be sure to use the link in the description down below. Also, if any of you are interested in any more information about these jobs specifically, I have dedicated playlists for all of them. They're linked in the corner of this video or in the description. Now we're going to start off at the fifth most common mechanical aptitude job and work our way up to the number one. Coming in at number five is refuel slash bomber aircraft maintenance. These are known as crew chiefs. A crew chief is the best mechanic to me. That's what it's all about. It's becoming the best that you can be regardless of your career field and getting your name on the door of that airplane. It's prestigious. It comes with honor and you have to earn that. It's not given. Coming in at number four is tactical aircraft maintenance, also known as crew chiefs. You know, we're inspecting the airplane before it goes to fly and we're inspecting it when it comes back from flight. If we find anything wrong, then we request the specific specialist to come out and deal with that if it's something that we don't handle ourselves. You've got your families within the family of each shop, and so crew chiefs, and then you've got weapons who work in their little teams, and then you've got back shops like structural or egress or NDI. There's a bunch of us that keep this system going. It's a very complex thing. It's a, it's a beautiful little airplane, but it takes a lot of people to keep it going. I like the down and dirty heavy maintenance, like engine removals or landing gear inspections, the big stuff where you're just in it and you're getting all grungy and fixing stuff. Coming in at number three is aircraft armament systems. I think weapons itself, it feels like two different jobs because I've worked flight line and I've worked back shop and they're both like you learn completely different aspects of it. Basically our job is to load and unload munitions off the aircraft, as well as perform scheduled and unscheduled maintenance on the munition systems itself. Coming in at number two is munitions systems. What munitions does, uh, we call ourselves ammo. Uh, we deal with pretty much anything that has an explosive quality to it, whether that be aircraft related, working on things that go towards the cops, EOD, special forces, pretty much anything you can think of that would deal with an explosive is our job. And coming in at number one is airlift slash special mission aircraft maintenance. These are also known as crew chiefs. The responsibilities of a crew chief is basically taking care of the aircraft from nose to tail, wingtip to wingtip. We're responsible for everything that goes on with that aircraft, whether it's servicing, lubricating, testing, inspecting, troubleshooting. Uh, we do everything that we can, and if it's outside of our realm, then we have subject matter experts that uh, can come in and evaluate the situation farther. So what do you guys think? Were you surprised by anything on this list? Did we leave anything out? Should have this list been a little bit different? And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down in the comment section down below. We'll do our best to answer you or at least point you in the right direction. As always, my name is Kyle Gott. This is Airman Vision, where we're bridging the gap between future recruits and the Air Force, and we look forward to helping you in another video.